93.7 KCLB Rocks. What's happening? I am uh, Conklin. We've got on the phone with us Phil Davison. Phil, how are you doing in Ohio, man? Good, good, Kevin, man. I'm doing good. How you doing? Good. I just had a couple quick questions to ask you. Do you realize you are the next YouTube sensation? Uh, no, I did not realize that. I, I, w- I went to bed last night, and I had, I had some, uh, some pizza I had left over and some potato chips and a Pepsi. I went to bed thinking, you know, I'll just wake up today and it... it <laughs> And be, uh, you know, business as usual. And in about one o'clock, I started getting calls and emails and, and text messages, and, and, and things have, have really got spiraled into a, a new dimension. Now, I, I heard you did lose the nomination bid. You, di- you didn't win. Your goal wasn't accomplished. So I'm sorry to hear about that. But can you explain to everybody exactly what it was you were doing? Yes, Kevin. What I was doing was there was what's called an internal appointment by the Republican Party to put a candidate on the ballot for the November election for the position of Stark County Treasurer. Stark County is the seventh largest county in the state, and so it's a pretty big county, and both the Democratic side and the Republican side met this week to put their nominee on the ballot. And when uh, in this process, the general voting public does not get to put the nominee on the ballot. Only the internal political party does, and, and of that internal party, only a select few of them get to vote. So there was, a, I think, 60... 60 of the 90 members showed up to vote, and I did not get the nomination. So no. that's what happened. So, uh, you know, afterwards I said congratulations and, and hung around and mingled a little bit and, and came home, and, and that's how politics works. And now you, you really did take a different approach. I'm calling it the Mel Gibson approach. You were very <laughs> excited, Phil. Uh, I got a couple <laughs> clips. I just want to know what's going through your mind during this time. Dad, I wish you could just shut your big yapper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got the wrong one. Let's get to you, actually. Drastic Times reporter, what? Drastic measures, yes! Who said that? Thank you! Drastic Times reporter, drastic measures! Now, Phil, it sounds like you're going to beat the hell out of somebody right there. <laughs> no, I, you know, I just wanted, I got emotional. It was a political speech, and quite frankly, this is, that, my speech was uh, reflective and reminiscent of speeches that were given by politicians before we had television and text messages and email and YouTube. I mean, that's uh, the traditional political speech, and that's, in the old days, it was called stumping. You know, a, a politician would stand up at a local county fair or, uh, or a county uh, event or local event and get up on a tree stump and give their speech, and, and that's how I guess I look at myself as, as an old-school uh, politician that once it gets emotional and I get fiery, and I didn't mean anyone any harm, but uh, what I said, I meant. I, I love politics. I want to make a difference. I, I think our country is, is in a position it's never been in before. We're on the precipice for major change, and we can, we can do this. We, we, we need to get people involved to, that want to make a difference, that are excited, that are emotional, that say, I want to help. I want to be a part of of a positive revolution. I want to be do something good. Now, I have another clip right here I want to play, um, sure. and I have a better way to describe it coming up next, Phil. I have been a Republican in times good, and I have been a Republican in times bad. It's like Howard Dean on steroids almost. Yes, it, it is a little Howard Dean. <laughs> I, went a, I went a little over the edge, and, and I apologize for what I did. I mean, if it offended anybody... I, uh, you know, I, I, I did the best I could, and I knew I was only going to get five minutes, and, and uh, I, wanted, I wanted everyone there to know that I'm, I'm proud of what I do. I want to be a part of the decision-making process. I think we need to bring people to the table that, that have alternative viewpoints, and, and I guess if, if I'm labeled a radical Republican, uh, that fits the bill. I, I think we need people that want to get emotional and care and, and want to get involved. Now, one more quick question, sure, Phil. Uh, you seem very passionate about everything. Are you Chris Farley reincarnated? <laughs> <laughs> one more. I, just, I mean, it's just the, the comparisons are right there. One more clip from Chris Farley. We're going to be buddies. We're going to be pals. We're going to rush the world. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be Chris Farley. I got, you know, I, <laughs> I've got one more of you, too, here. If nominated tonight, I promise each and every person in this room... I will hit the ground running, come out swinging, and end up winning! Yeah, Which is a mo- that, that's a great motto. I'm gonna hit the ground swinging and end up winning. That's right. Now, it, was that was that fly of the moment thing, or did you prepare that? No, it, it was a fly of the moment thing. I had I had uh, it just felt it just felt like a, a natural uh, go to phrase. It and it it, it, uh, 
You know, and, and you're right. It, it, I hope I hope it resonates. I, I mean, and I meant that. I, I'm excited. I, I think people in politics should should care about what they do, and I and I think the people that vote should 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 vote for people that care for what they do. I mean, you know, it, it works both ways. We need to have a reciprocal relationship between people that run for office and the people. We need to work together, and I get emotional about that. I, I really tr- truly care, and I want to help out. All right, Phil. Thank you very much for your time, and I'm glad we caught you before uh, you're ending up on the Today Show and everything like that. Oh, Kevin, thank you very much. And, you know, I love California. It's a great state. I watch TMZ all the time, and, and it's a lot of fun out there. All right, man. Rock on. Thanks for the time. Rock on. Thanks. Later. Drastic Times reporter, what? Drastic measures, yes! Who said that? Thank you! Drastic times require drastic measures!